Hello, welcome back to Whiskey Wednesday. Another Wednesday, another whiskey review with me, Joe. So, if I can get this open, this week, a lot of people requesting that I review budget whiskies and whiskies that you can find in supermarkets and whiskies that are generally a little bit cheaper. So, decided to review this one. It's called Bally Nickel Jarvie. It's been around for years now and it's a blended whiskey but it's famous for having one of the highest malt contents for a budget blend. So on the bottle it says all whiskey is over eight years old so it's a fairly kind of you know old blend for something you can pick up for about 20 pound. Um, predominantly, predominantly the single malt in here is Glenmorangie with obviously a number of others. Bottled at 40 percent and you can pick this up in Waitrose, online, and any kind of you know specialist whiskey store. So let's get straight to it. On the nose, let's give it a give it a nose. So we're getting a floral note. Got a little a little touch of alcohol, kind of a bit of an alcohol nip, but it's not too bad. Getting kind of lemon, more of those kind of floral notes. Get the sweet grain, whiskey note coming through, so kind of cereals, kind of slightly charred wood. So there's a slight, there's a slight smokiness there as well. I do quite like the bottle as well, it's kind of quite old fashioned. Let's see, have a look. It's quite an old fashioned design, it's really nice. It's quite plain as well, I like it. Anyway, charred wood, kind of slightly smoky, bit of kind of honey note as well, so again that sweetness. And the floral, the floral note I was looking for, I'm going to go with orange blossom. Mm. Just quite delicate, but really quite pleasant. Definitely one of the, one of the sweeter blends out there on the nose. Right, let's give it a taste. Mm. On the palate, very soft. You can definitely pick up the maltiness, that kind of sweet honeyed maltiness, so that's definitely there. And you can tell, you know, thinking back to stuff like Grouse and Bells and Teachers, you definitely get more of the maltiness with Ballynickel Jarvie, and that's what it is famed for. It's famous for having the highest malt content for a budget blend. So what else am I getting? Maybe a bit of kind of white chocolate. There's lots of that kind of floral perfumed note. Again, a slight wood smoke comes through as well. So there's a, it's a nice, it's a nice balance of smokiness. And a little bit of lifted orange as well. So the kind of the orange and citrus kind of plays a big part on the palate. Give it one more try. Finally, get orange oil under the finish. Slight bit of, a slight bit of saltiness, very, very slightly. Alcohol comes through again. Fairly short, as you'd expect for, you know, a cheap blended whiskey, but thoroughly, thoroughly pleasant. Um, considering you can pick this up for about 20 pounds, um, it's definitely getting an 8 out of 10 in my books. It's a really, really good value for money blended whiskey. So, yeah, look out for it. And there's a, obviously a load of writing on the back which tells you about how it's got the highest malt content of any blended scotch, etc, etc. I'm not going to read it all to you because I've pretty much explained it in the video. 8 out of 10 for the Bally Nickel Jarvi. Please share the video. Please subscribe. The top button there. And I'll see you next week, guys, for some more budget whiskey. Cheers, guys. Bye-bye.